the Royal Alba Hall where I'm spending my evening. Oh yeah. So I'm here at the Royal Albert Hall about to head into prom praise and um, I'm really excited and I'll uh, give you some uh, reflections or reflections even uh, when I uh, leave and when I get home. Um, I suspect I won't be able to do any filming in there but essentially it's an evangelistic uh, uh, concert. Uh, the Gettys are playing, Governor B is performing and uh, with a talk from Charlie Screen. Um, so all souls have put this on. Um, so this is just a nice thing to go at the end of that. Uh, everything I've learned from them. This is a big evangelistic event that they do and uh, I'm really excited to be able to go and to be here. There's a big orchestra. Uh, it's in, uh, as I say, the Royal Albert Hall. Uh, it's the nearest thing to the proms I'm probably ever going to get to and I could go in a t-shirt. Um, so uh, yeah, really excited and uh, I'll see you on the other side. Door 9, where I'll be heading in. The Royal Albert Hall is also opposite the Royal College of Organists. Well, I'm not a big fan of organs but still pretty cool. What's really cool about this event is that the All Souls tech team do it. They do get to do the tech at this amazing venue. If I can wangle helping them out one year, I so want to. This is so cool. They've even got quite a basic tech setup, which I think is really cool. Here I am at the Royal Lab Hall. Hardly anyone's in yet, but this is what I'm for, here for. Prom praise. The 50th anniversary. So the chair spin, as in this is me moving without moving anything other than the chair. How weird is that? It's really filling up now. two very special guests who've had a long-standing relationship with the All Souls Orchestra. This is absolutely unbelievable. I cried when we got to sing with 5,000 people for the first time since COVID. It's amazing. Have a plan for us all, and it's only you that can save us. Step fast, no 
My goodness that was incredible i'll talk about it more when i get home and i can do some proper filming but i'm absolutely buzzing praise god for all he's done for these guys well you've just seen um how amazing my initial reactions were um to uh prom praise at the royal albert hall i think on reflection and having um told people about it since it was a couple of days ago now um it's really uh, stayed with me as a real highlight actually of uh, being in London um, I think uh, as you saw you know just being able to sing with uh, 5,000 other people and praise Jesus was just a bit overwhelming as I said I got uh, I cried uh, I got teary eyed and and that wasn't sad that was just amazing after a couple of years you know two or three years of of not being able to sing together in the same way not being able to um be together and um, to be able to sing 
uh, God's praises with a whole room, well, 5,000 strangers and all praise God. That was, that was fantastic. Um, and the musicians were great. So it was great um, to have, have the Gettys and Graham Kendrick and Governor B and, and others and original, I think it was three, maybe four, um, world premieres of original pieces of music um, that were to to praise God and um, the standard of the orchestra and the choir was just was just phenomenal. I think you can't go to something like that and not see. I mean, the beauty of creation um, and the beauty uh, that it is that we are created beings and that we've been given those gifts. And um, I am not someone who um can play uh, particularly play an, an orchestra um piece to that standard i uh, have sort of grade two flute and uh, a bit of ukulele and a, a bit of saxophone and, and grade five singing so i could probably be in the choir but just to listen to that orchestra of such a phenomenal standard i think a lot of them were were professionals but you can't help but but see the beauty in that and um yeah i mean that was amazing just i think i mean i didn't feel my own face but i think i was probably sitting like the entire time i was tapping my feet i was um you know bobbing my head along having a bit of a groove oh it was fantastic and um yeah as you saw it was such a huge and beautiful venue um and then uh, in the ceiling uh, was like all these projected like 50 years because it was 50 years of the orchestra and then there was this big thing at the front of 150 years of the royal albert hall and um, the royal albert hall is is beautiful um that was a spectacular venue to be in and um i think it just all felt really special to me i think it was a real encouragement uh, to me i think um, over the past few years when life's been so busy it can uh, you can get tunnel vision kind of you can get I need to do the next thing 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 I think it plays into the pride thing I've been talking about that you suddenly think well if I don't do it you know the gospel won't go out um, and so it was really exciting to be able to um, see something uh, so wonderful and so exciting that had nothing to do with me really humbling um, but really encouraging as well and and to to sort of zoom out and me see that that bigger view of god's people um around uh, around the world and oh yeah it was just phenomenal and i think um a lot of these things you know a lot of these videos are you know what have i read what have i learned and um i have learned a lot through it but just in terms of of the rest and relaxation and enjoyment of sabbatical and um, that was uh, really one of my highlights and I think might end up being one of my highlights um, until yeah the whole way through and um, it was a coincidence that I got to go I, I got to All Souls the previous Sunday and they said that it was happening and I thought oh great um, I'll get a ticket and oh, I'm so glad I did and um, it was such a blessing to be able to be there and um, yeah, if you get to go to next year's or at any time, head along to Prom Pros. Um, I definitely hope um, that it might be a similar time to um, the, the tech convention that I went to next year and that I might be able to do both again. And um, it was, uh, yeah, fantastic. Over and out.